Okay guys, it's the first ever arcade car on the Evercade, it's Technos Arcade 1. Let's have a look at it next. Okay, so finally we have obviously the first arcade um, sort of car, and it's like this lovely sort of purple colour, which I think is really smart. I like how they've sort of changed the, the sort of style, and obviously we're now at number one again, um, which is really cool. So we have eight games here, all arcades obviously. We've got Mysterious Stones, Blockout, Combat Tribes, Double Dragon 2, and 3, Mania Challenge, Minky Monkey, and Battle Lane Volume 5. Very cool. Okay, here's the lovely cart which has obviously got the purple background as well on it, that's really nice, definitely love that. So have the manuals as well which is cool, got uh, information about Technos, which yeah again I would definitely encourage to read these, Double Dragon 2, 3, interestingly no Double Dragon, which I think has been left out due to the sort of issues and the slowness of it and they don't want to that to sort of slur the name of Evercade even though we all know that the, the original ROM was to blame rather than um, the actual Evercade unit sort of cool games, interesting some of these games are vertical um, which I don't think they play great on the handheld due to that nature but you can actually put it full screen and it works to an extent um, such as Mania Challenge as well but I think these games Especially the arcade carts are definitely better designed for the VS. I'm sure that's what they were meant for. Definitely got that in mind when they were sort of getting these games. But they do play on the, the handheld, no problem. Not perfect, I think. Uh, definitely better on the VS, obviously, with the extra 1080p. But yeah, let's have a look at the games briefly on the handheld. So you press the select button to insert your coin. Best start to start. You can see it plays, looks really good on here. I think it's definitely better on the VS. Let's get started. Now the games can be a lot harder than your normal sort of games. Obviously it's arcade, so but you can insert more coins, I guess. For most parts, let's Get started with Battle Lane Volume 5. So, you see this one, this has got the vertical aspect ratio, which, yeah, I've got it on Pixel Perfect, but obviously it's pretty tiny on the screen there, so I think we'll maybe change that. You can put it to full screen, um, but that's obviously not meant to look like that, it would, it's pretty horrendous. Um, so, I think that the only way of playing it really is to stick to original ratio. Um, let's get going. You can see how bad I am then. Oh, let's get started. We've got two options, you've got missiles and just your standard fire. You see that you start with no missiles, you need to actually collect them. And What I've witnessed so far, this game is brutally difficult. It's very unforgiving. I think one thing is. Oh jeez, I think what's quite hard is to see, actually see your your bullets coming out your gun, it's obviously quite small. Not necessarily an arcade problem, it's just how it, the, the actual ROM is. But it is very difficult this game. Okay, that's got us missiles, woohoo! Need to avoid all the, the fire. <laughs> Easier said than done. Again, an absolutely brutal game, very difficult. Oh, see, that ain't good. Interestingly, you can actually just avoid them rather than actually take them out and they'll just go past you. Obviously, you still need to actually avoid the fire. Um, them shooting at you, but, hmm. Extremely hard. This is definitely only for your expert gamers out there. Let's try again. Obviously you could save state a lot, <laughs> but it just gets to the point it's not fun I guess you're just constantly save stating too much. 
Oop. So you can actually just avoid them. <laughs> That's my tip. Just avoid them. Might actually be an easier tactic, to be honest. <laughs> Definitely is. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make for a great game doing that all the time, though. But yeah, look at that. <laughs> Why bother trying to kill them? Just go past them. Oh, can't do that when they actually drive in front of you, though, can you? Rascals. So that actually managed to get to the end of the, the level here, but and you need to sort of destroy things with five missiles, but it's brutally hard. And it's a very hard game. Quite unforgiven. I'm not sure how many people will do well in that. I'm sure some will. There's, you've got your hardcore gamers out there. But yeah, I'll give this one a miss, I think. It's, it's far too difficult. Okay, guys, let's change it up a little bit. We've got Blockout, which is a kind of a 3D Tetris-style game. And this one definitely has a tough one to get your head around. So you've got a few options with your drop the block, pressing X, and you can spin it, and then multiple different axes, X, Y, and Z, to fit it in the slots. And that's the tricky bit. Kind of doesn't sound too difficult, but when it's in 3D like that, it's pretty tricky, I'll tell you. Right, let's get started. Insert the coin, press the select button. It's quite a cool thing, actually. In certain coins playing arcade games. Definitely cool. Now let's just do the warm-up game, I think. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... You can see the size of the blocks. You need to maybe just... Okay, drop that there. Okay, straightforward so far. Ah, now we're getting trickier. Giving us an awkward size one. So let's spin that this way, put it down. You can see you can spin it in a few diff three different ways. Oh, I've just completely mucked that up. Okay, not to worry. We can, we can recover. I need to clear this line a bit. Right, I think I'm going to have to spin that. The trick is not to press that X button until you're actually ready. Okay, yeah, then we'll clear a line, hopefully. Yep, yeah, there you go. Got that space back. I hate him, um, how this would go when it's actually going extremely quick. Because I need uh, a few seconds to actually think about it. If this is firing down at, at crazy speed, I'm going to be panicking. Okay. Aha. I'll clear another line. Cool. I definitely like this. It's quite good. It certainly gets your brain going. <laughs> what way is I going to put it? I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. What button do I press? Ah, that's better. <laughs> I think that's in there. That's too long. She never ever said that. I can see maybe this being quite an addictive game. It's definitely a nice change to the, the other games on this cart, that's for sure. I have to admit, I was never not a fan of the, the Technos um, collection that we have, um, just mainly because I didn't really like a lot of the games. But I know there are a lot of Double Dragon fans out there, so it's fine. Just wasn't really for me. I think this is much better though. There's more variety, I think, at least. Yeah, I think you get the gist of this game. It's actually pretty cool. I'm starting to get a little bit messed up here, I think. Oh, I'm going to put this in here. I say the controls are tight, really good. The, the controller is working fantastically well here. It's getting faster. Oh, and I'm messing this up, big style. Difficult to judge the depth a little bit here. Hmm. Okay. Put that there. It needs to go that way. Yep, yeah, got a line going. Yay! 
Anyway, guys, I think we'll move on. I think this is quite good. Really quite addictive. Um, I'll definitely be playing this one again. It certainly gets you thinking that this is one could even be quite cool in the handheld. I think just relaxing. It's kind of a puzzle style game. I do like my puzzlers. Yep, let's move on, guys. Okay guys, we're moving on to Double Dragon 2, then Double Dragon 3. So, Double Dragon, the first game, is not on the cart. Uh, apparently there were some issues trying to get the, the game to run properly, which we know there's issues with the Double Dragon arcade cart, the slowdown. And I don't think Blaze were keen on putting it on the cart, just in case it showed up the arcade um, for being poor uh, emulating, but that's what the original ROM was like. So they've not put it on the cart. Um, that's not to say it might not appear, it might be a secret, might not be. I would be surprised if it wasn't a secret to be honest, even like a, a free a secret code or an unlockable game somehow. We'll find out I guess at some point, but anyway let's play Double Dragon 2 The Revenge. Just double check your buttons, you've got jump, tack right, tack left, let's go. I have to say I'm not really a huge Double Dragon fan. Just, I think I've preferred other beat em ups, but this, the, the arcade bit versions are definitely pretty good. But still, I'm, I'm just finding them quite difficult, and I'm just not a huge fan. But anyway, let's get stuck into it anyway. Ooh, I always get beat up quite a lot. Are you? Oh, I'm so bad at this game. Maybe that's why I don't like it, because I'm so bad. I wouldn't say I was really bad at beat em ups, I just find this one really difficult to actually play. Ah, I think it goes quite quickly. It just feels as if you've got so little chance to actually do anything. And that the, the computer is just one up on you all the time. Oh. Dead already. So I just feel it's very tough. But yeah, it's arcade. I need to remember that at all times. Ah, oh, see what chance you got? Okay, who wants one? Jeez. <laughs> Even uh, playing this has actually slowed down, which kind of makes you wonder a little bit. I mean, I, I think Double Dragon 3, as you've seen a little uh, set of few minutes, uh, it's got slowed down in juddery sort of motion, so I don't really see what the big issue is. Uh -huh. Oh, come on! <laughs> So unforgiving this game. Come on! Yay! Oh, jeez. I think the trick is not to go too close. You need a turbo button, I think, here. <laughs> Just feel as if they're always a one step ahead of you, no matter how quickly you press the button. <laughs> Come on! Oh Jesus. Okay guys, see I'm just not a fan of this at all. Not a fan. I'm, I'm sure if I was better at it I might like it more. And I, I know that this uh, genre does have massive fans. It's not me. What was that all about? <laughs> yeah, very cool. Anyway, let's move on to Double Dragon 3. Okay guys, Double Dragon 3, the Rosetta Stone. Let's do it. Can you go and seek three myst mystical stones and unravel the mystery behind them? Hmm. Okay. Interestingly, the, the button layout was a bit strange here with the punch and jump. Well, I spin that as we go into the game. Double Dragon 3, let's go. Mission 1, America. You can go into the weapon shop, obviously you get extra coins, you can just add as many as you like and 
get all the tricks and energy. Power up. Yeah, cool. I mean, it kind of obviously the graphics are all a lot sort of, uh, so the sprites are larger. But I think look at the the juddery motion of the characters is just off-putting for me. I just find it really annoying. Oh, the button layout's a bit plays slightly differently. I'm still bad at it though. Now, interestingly, the the button layout is a bit strange to do the whirlwind kick by pressing A and Y. And it's obviously quite awkward to, to do that on, on this controller with two fingers. You can see it's possible obviously, obviously but it, you have to take your, your fingers off the, the joypad a little bit awkwardly. The movement of the characters is just so juddery, it's quite off-putting, I just find it. just can't enjoy that game. I'm so bad at it as well, it doesn't help. Hey. Well, you can actually run by double... <laughs> there are absolutely a few different moves here and there. Double click right and left, you can run. Hey. Interestingly, I played this game previously, and some one of the enemies got stuck in the door, and I couldn't actually move on. This is a little bit annoying. Can you do something with these guys? Ah! more like a wrestling move than anything else. <laughs> yeah, not a massive fan, I just find it it's just not for me to be honest. But it has its fans out there, I know that is fine, totally fine. I just think there's definitely better beat em ups than, than this for me. Anyway guys, I think I've had enough, so I'm going to sort of move on from here. Okay guys, here we have Mania Challenge, which is our first wrestling game on the Evercade, which is cool. Obviously another aspect ratio that's vertical. Um, I don't know how that's going to work on the handheld, I've sort of played it and it, it's not ideal to play it vertically. You can stretch the screen long ways, but it, it, it's hard to say if it's, it's workable or not. I can get away with it, I'd say on the handheld, playing it vertically, it's just so small, it's, it's unplayable. But yeah, anyway. So this is based on professional wrestler Dynamite Tommy, which I think I believe it was based on Dynamite Kid, uh, the sort of British wrestler, part of the British Bulldogs. So you can play two player game as well, which is nice. And we're playing the Insane Warrior. Obviously it's the Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> so we get kick and punch. They're quite the, the basic moves, but there's a lot more moves to that. <laughs> you can grapple. Yay! I actually quite like this game, it is quite good. Once you sort of get the hang of, of what the moves are. Whoa! <laughs> you can jump out the ring too. It's quite tricky to get back in the ring though. Which I found, sometimes you get stuck. I don't really know where, it, where you actually stand to get in. So it's a little bit annoying. And somewhere at the front you need to sort of press up on the controller, I think. But it's not letting me go in. There's a specific place I need to sort of stand. Hmm. So let's try again, guys. I did successfully get on to round two previously. Uh, in here. See, I won that one. But you get to play a sort of Hulk Hogan-like character in round two. Got the Golden Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ooh, nice. There are a lot of cool moves in there. Ooh. It's quite cool we've got a wrestling game for sure. I don't think it's the best wrestling game ever, but it's playable. It's definitely very playable. 
I think it'd be quite cool playing against your a mate or something. That'd be quite funny. If you're into your wrestling games, I'm pretty sure you will love this. You definitely feel in control of your character sometimes in some wrestling games. You really don't have feel as if you're in control. Woo! Ah! Drop kick! Oh, I'm getting beat up now. He's going to try and pin me next. Ah, he's out of the ring. I have to. I think you need to go at the the bottom of the ring and press up. This this seems to be an issue, and the characters are not actually coming into the ring. So I don't know whether that's a flaw. And, uh, I've played this game before, and I definitely experienced this. But I, I have managed to get in the ring before. You can see this character is going to get counted out as well. Strange. Anyway, it's quite a good wrestling game. I really quite like it. Okay, guys, here we go. This is Minky Monkey. Pretty cool. Let's go. Let's get going. Okay, so you need to get five successes here, or you lose a life. You need to avoid the character. So you got a jump button. And that's really it. So you see, you've got the. I think it's a, is a tomato or an apple. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, need to avoid that. Rascal. There we go, put them in the, the fruit and the squares. Oh. Oh my. Oh, so we need to avoid. Arr. That's pretty tricky. But it's kind of fun as well at the same time. Oh. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's an apple. It's a lemon. Mm. Let's see what the other character is. We need to get obviously get the fruit before the other character. Put it in the square. And we're away. Oh, there's another one. Oh, the button got a bit stuck there. Okay, I've got two to go. Yay, I was carrying two fruits there. One to go. Oh, jinx. It looks like quite hard, so I've got one to go to sort of get to the next level. Surely I can do that. Ah, oh, surely not. Ah, oh, come on. Yay! It's actually quite tricky. It's quite good though, it's quite good fun. Oh, it's getting a little bit trickier. Oh, we've got more uh, sort of enemies in the top here too. Oh, come on! That's hardly fair. <laughs> oh, Darren is going to beat me. I'll just stay over here, I think. Yay! Don't know what that does. Oh! So I'm just staying over here, aren't I? <laughs> Come on! That's hardly fair. Ah! So don't fall off the edge and you die. There we go, it's not too bad. Pretty tricky, mm, quite hard, but it's good fun. Definitely good fun. Okay guys, here we go, Mysterious Stones. So it's got a fuller tip, it's got Mysterious Stones, Dr. John's Adventure. And you had to go through the crypts, find the treasure, and then escape before um, sort of the lava takes over. So you get a kick button and a fire pistol button. Let's see. Kind of strange little game, to be honest. Kind of like an Indiana Jones style thing. 
I can tell with the, the theme tune. Not sure what that does, just ups your score a little bit. Interesting. So we need to avoid all the, the these bad guys too. It's a very tricky game. Try and find some treasure, I guess. Ah! Don't do that. Cool, we've got some treasure. Now you need to escape the room by is a certain time, is it 8pm I think? I can't remember before it gets covered in lava. Ah, oh, avoid those enemies. Very tricky game. Oh! I'm never going to make that, am I? No, 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 yeah, 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 no, 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 yeah, yeah, oh no, I was just too slow. Oh, I think I'll sneak through this way, that's easier. <laughs> Side road. Like I say, strange game. It's so hard to actually describe what you're supposed to do. Find some treasure and escape. Ooh, I've got a gun as well, yeah, you can shoot. I obviously need to make sure I definitely shoot these enemies. Ok, I'll go to the other end and escape these folks. Nice. Oof! <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, look at that fire guy. Evil. Oh, oh wow. Oh, game over already? Hmm. Guys, that ain't too bad. Oh, look at the spelling mistake. Can you see it? So that's not an arcade issue. That's obviously in the original ROM, but interesting English. Let's cancel this game. Okay, guys, the last game on the cart, and probably the best one for me. And um, this one is definitely better than Double Dragon. I know many might disagree, but I think this is a far superior game and a much better, more polished beat 'em up. So this is the Combo Tribes. And you can play three player games with this, which I sort of demonstrated in my main review video. So you get punch and kick. That's pretty much it. Let's get stuck in. Just be me playing it today. And the sprites are bigger, the sounds are better. Get more control over the character, it feels. Yeah, just a much nicer looking game. I don't think it's quite as hard, it's probably a lot more, more playable. One coming though. You can lift up the bike as well and you chuck it. Love it. Hey, take that. Yeah, I definitely love this one. So much more fun to play than Double Dragon, I'm afraid. Sorry if you like Double Dragon, but I prefer this one. Characters are so much more detailed. I think it's probably one of them I'll probably play with the kids in this game. I'll try and finish it with all three of them. Kind of strange why they just didn't go for a full on four player on game. I guess it's obviously a limitation. Because obviously playing with the three player was. there was a lot going on in the screen. Haha, <laughs> I love it. Whoa. Thanks. Oh, that's not fair, get a big plank. Oh, I died. Take that, I've got a bike. <laughs> He's running away. Oh, bit of blood, love it. <laughs> love it. <laughs> There's a lot of great animation in this game, really good. Tell me please, this is definitely better than Double Dragon, surely. Fantastic. Guys, please let us know in the comments what you think. I know there's plenty of Double Dragon fans out there, but I think this is a much better game. I think 
overall, um, the cart is kind of, it's okay. I mean, I think if you're a Double Dragon fan, you're getting this, you'll love it, I'm sure. And if you're not, then there's variety at least, there's variety over the original Technos cart. Um, but I don't think it's my favourite arcade cart that's been released. But it's still pretty good, there's some good games here that I'm definitely going to be playing, the puzzle game for example. Um, I'll definitely be playing Comertrise, this is probably the best game here. So looking forward to going through the other three carts soon. We've got Gilco, we've got Data East, and we've got Atari that we're all going to go through in the next sort of few days. Review them, see what they're like. Hopefully we'll get a lot more arcade carts to come, this is the start of many I'm sure. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the video, please like, subscribe and we'll catch you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now guys, bye.